Title, California Bigwigs Say Nua to Book Banning TLDR, California Top Dogs penned a letter warning educators about the constitutional hiccups of book bans. The action comes amid other states' surge in book censorship, reflecting the ongoing battle of values in public institutions. Illinois is also waving goodbye to book bans, with a funding block bill for censorship-happy institutions soon to be signed. The Carly letter, dropped in the mailboxes of all school admins, detailed the civil rights and legal obligations they need to follow to avoid overstepping. All aboard the Freedom Express. Ever been in a place where even books get cancelled? Imagine being all comfy, midway through a chapter, and suddenly, poof, the book gets banned. Well, the top dogs in California aren't about to let that happen, saying no to book banning. Our Californian heroes of the day include Governor Gavin Newsom, Attorney General Rob Bonta, and State Superintendent Tony Thurmond. These three musketeers penned a joint letter addressed to all the head honchos in county and district schools, as well as charter school admins. What's the big deal? Well, the move is a response to an alarming wave of book bans sweeping across other states, most notably in Florida. But remember, it's not just about our right to read, it's also a part of the ongoing culture clash between liberals and conservatives on the role public institutions should play in our children's lives. A modern Romeo, and Juliet if you will, minus the tragic love part, of course. But it's not all doom and gloom. Illinois is also stepping up its game. Governor J.B. Pritzker is expected to ink his approval on a bill that would block state funding for public institutions that censor literature. Who knew banning books could be so expensive, huh? Back to the California letter, it's not just a fancy hello. It's loaded with reminders about civil rights and legal mandates that school administrators need to follow to avoid tripping on constitutional lines. And education in, well, education law, so to speak. But here's the kicker, despite these attempts to promote the freedom of expression, there's always the potential for pushback. So, while the intentions are all about maintaining open minds and full bookshelves, will this be enough to stop the wave of censorship? Or is this an uphill battle that needs more than strongly worded letters? But now, we leave the ball in your court, dear readers. What do you think? Is a book ban ever justified? What should the role of public institutions be in shaping the minds of our future generations? And most importantly, what's the next book you're planning to read?